Hey, this is Brickzar, and in this video, it's going to be a bat, a Brickzar answer thingy. We're going to be answering this question that Patrick Ford has been asking. And essentially, he's asking, how do you clean your old Lego? He has tried in very hot water, but he's warped the bricks, so that that was a bummer. And so that's the main part of the question we're going to answer now. Old Lego bricks are already warped, so I don't know if they warp because of your hot water, but um, normal hot water that you use in the kitchen should not warp your Lego. So what I'm going to do is I got all my stuff laid out here that I use. I got a colander, a little container, and I got some dirty bricks. And these bricks are very dirty. Uh, they're a used lot that I bought and I've never um, opened them out of this bag before. So the first thing you do is you take your bag and you dump it into a container. You see how dirty some of these bricks are. And I'm actually recording over the audio because in the kitchen you get an echo and it's just not good. So I, I put them in a Sterilite container like this uh, where it's easy to, uh, to scrub them and stuff once you get the water in there. Then you get the water hot. Uh, I use it straight hot, no cold mixing it. Um, of course, we don't have our thermostat set really high in the on the in the basement at the um, hot water heater. But palm olive is good. Madge would like that. And just use a little regular dishwashing soap and put in there. And what this is really going to do is get that first layer of grime off. So I'll mix it. Um, get the bubbles going, get some scrubbing bubble action. And, it, and when the Lego are this dirty, it doesn't take long before you see how nasty Lego can get. This stuff is, this this lot here just is really bad. Uh, not one of the worst I've ever had, but just Lego that's laid around on the floor, just picked up a lot of dirt, dirty hands have been holding it. And so get it all sudsed up and ready to go. And you can already see there the dirt that's coming off. Now some of the, the parts will need more a little more scrubbing. And there are other methods that some people prefer. I was talking to Nicholas Longshore who actually just puts them in the washing machine. Not the dishwasher, the washing machine. Um, he says he hasn't had any problem with the little parts going through the holes. I would really worry about that with my, my washing machine. But... Uh, he tried a net bag, but his bag broke. But that's some have done that have a sturdy net bag, a, a net bag of some sort, and put in the dishwasher and use it. And you, if you do the dishwasher or the washing machine, you you want to use um, gentle cycle. But see how dirty that is. This is with no scrub, and this is just um, putting them in the uh, container. Now, I'll go through and I'll scrub some of the plates and uh, the more dirty parts. Uh, this is extra work. Actually, what I would normally would have done is I just let it soak overnight and then rinsed it and did it again before I start to this point. But for the sake of this video, I just went and uh, got some of the plates out. They're, the plates, the big plates, are sometimes the ones that are a little dirtier uh, for some reason. But I'll just take a, a washcloth or something and just wipe them off. Uh, you'll be surprised how much get clean without you even scrubbing them uh, with the dishwashing detergent. So I'll just go through and pick out different pieces. Now this lot had some stuff that, uh, number one, was broken, but also stuff that was has paint or other substances that will not come off. I, and with the white bricks like this, uh, they're always going to show the dirt more. That's why I picked the white. But I've even soaked the white bricks in a light mixture of bleach and then mix it. I, I can't really recommend stuff because, you know, safety reasons. I don't want anybody to get, you know, kids playing with bleach and stuff like that, but there's different things you can do. So I'm just using the safe palm olive right now. And then I, I just got this today. I used to just kind of dump the, I put the lid on the Sterilite container and dump the water out, but I'm trying this uh, new method of putting them in the um, colander. I want to get a bigger colander these things are more expensive than I thought. I got this one at um, Dollar General for like $2 and something. But when I was at Walmart, they were $10. And I'm not paying $10 for something like this. But I want to get a bigger one. So this is my first time ever doing it this way. Uh, but, you know, you put them in this and then you can run some water over it and get the soap out. Um, 
I would use, before I would just rinse it in the Sterilite container, dump the water out and do it over and over until I got all the soap out, but this, this may prove to be easier. You probably still need to do it more than once. In this video I only did it one time, uh, but just to, to get all the soap, and I actually put it back in the container and did it again. Yeah, this is, is monotonous process, and I'm sure there's better ways of doing it. Um, but for me, this is what I've done, and it's it's gotten some stuff really clean, that uh, easy way and inexpensive. But I, I still have not had the courage to put anything in the dishwasher or the washing machine other than stuff that got left in my pocket. Now, I think that it would get some of the... Um, the grime that's really into the, the grain of the bricks if you uh, put it in the dishwasher so it would probably get a lot cleaner but uh, it takes a little while to do it this way but uh, you get the odor off of it if it had an odor uh, it gets uh, most of the heavy dirt off of it and so after you get done and you, you get done rinsing it off and then you dry them and I'm not going to show the drying in this video but usually what I would do is either leave them in the container for a while or you know, the easiest way is just set them on a towel on the floor I wouldn't put them in the dryer I wouldn't recommend that but um, I just lay them on a towel put a fan in front of it something like that and just let it uh, air dry that's the best way of course, you know, the, the bricks, they'll hold water depending on which way they're oriented in the pile. So you might have to let them dry for a while, then go and flip them around, and, um, and then eventually they'll completely air dry. So this is um, this is what I do. I've never had a problem with the hot water. And, you know, I get the water as hot as our um, hot water heater will go as far as what it's set. I don't mix it with any cold water, and I've never had a problem. Um, I've actually boiled Lego before. Now, um, that's when I was trying to separate what, what I thought was glue. And if you boil Lego, it will warp. So, I mean, yeah, there is a certain temperature. I think it's like 150-something degrees uh, where the, the plastic will start to become weak. But this lot, actually, it was so dirty that it, it really improved uh, doing this one rinse uh, wash cycle that I did here. And I'll still need to clean up some more of them. But I'll show you a picture of what it looks like after I got done. They look a lot better. I mean, there, there's some yellowing that's with age and other problems with these bricks. But uh, some of these dishes, the, the, the like the 8x8 dishes, are really good looking now. So happy with how it turned out. So I thought I'd show you that. Patrick Ford had been asking. This is how I clean Lego. Like I said, there are better ways that people use, but this is what's worked for me. So thanks for watching. This is Brixar.